everybody, it's me, Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today is uh, Friday, and I have a haul video for you guys um, today. Um, so yeah, I am saying I'm a lot. I apologize. It's been a while since I filmed, so please bear with me as I try and get used to talking um, in film again. So yeah, I did get some orders in that have been kind of backordered the last few weeks and I am excited to show you guys what I got. I ordered some stickers from this little shop in on Etsy and she sent me some free stickers and so I wanted to show them. I will link all my shops below that I shop from. They are Asian themed, so if you like anime type stuff, they're definitely ones to look at. But I love this shop. They have such cute little like crafty stickers, and I've been really into crafting lately, so we got some little food here and some cute little popsicles. Very cute. They're, they're sparkly, so I don't know if you can see that. but And it was cheap, too. It was only like $5 for this grab bag. And I was like, oh, I can't pass that up. Um, but here is some washi tape samples. But I got this little $5 sticker grab bag that's kind of kawaii themed. And... This is what it looks like. Because I like stickers. I've been in a sticker mood lately. I don't have very many stickers. What is that? His face. <laughs> so funny. Hello Kitty. Um, I think these were the Hello Kitty ones. But if you guys like this kind of stuff, I get these um, little grab bags and I will be happy to share them with you. It also came with this really nice pen. I don't know if you can see that here. And I like pens to journal with and write in. Uh, and then also, this is what was in the bag. It was just some crafty supply stuff that I happen to like. I am a little bit sniffly today, so I apologize for that. There is no avoiding it, unfortunately. It's getting to be that time of year where um, allergy season is upon us. And those of you that suffer with allergies know that that's just unavoidable, unavoidable and lame to deal with. But we got to do what we got to do. So, I did do allergy shots for about two years. And they helped a little bit, but I'm just taking a daily Claritin right now, and I haven't taken my pill yet today, so. This is what these ones look like. Really pretty. These are stickers, by the way. Ooh. Really pretty teacup. Some food and stamps. Looks like some yummy cheesecake. My dogs are outside and quiet, which makes me nervous because I'm like, what are you guys getting into? Who knows? Oh well. And I also got this pen that came in the bag. It's got different colors. It's really big, so I'm not quite used to it yet, but... Anyway, that's my Etsy. Oh, and I got this little washi tape. That, I don't know if you can see it. It's blue. Blue striped. That came in. Daisy! What are you eating? She's gnawing on something. 
I don't know. So I got this set of Derwent Color Softs. Um, I used up my old set, so it was time for a new set. It's not even open yet, but this is what they look like. Hey, Harley. Where's your sister? Oh, there she is. There she is. And I will open them. But they're really nice. I really, really like the different color softs in certain books. Um, like one of them being the Kirby Rosane's books. They work really well in. And so I just picked up the 12 set. And I'm going to keep them in their tin. Eventually I will work my way up to collecting the rest of the set. But I just don't have the money right now. And the books that I picked up, I finished one of them, one of these Woodland High E books, and I will show that here in another video soon, but this is Woodland Wonder by Jen Racine. I really did not know that I didn't have this book, so I immediately went to go pick it up because I loved the Woodland High E book. <laughs> Excuse me. And I had to have another book. So here's her information if you want to pause the video and go look her up. She is Jen Racine. But this is what some of her pictures look like. They are super big and bold print, which I really enjoy coloring in. It's just nice and it's easy for me to see. I guess we're going to do a flip of this book because look at that cute picture, that cute fawn and the bunny. So cute. I just love these types of images. I don't know what it is lately. And the paper's white, which I really like because some paper is like an off white, and that's been kind of bothering me lately because it doesn't matter what book I get or what book I color in, the paper is usually just off. That's pretty, the birds. So if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. I am getting new subscribers in every day, so thank you guys. Hi to everybody that's new, welcome in. My name is Samantha, for those of you that don't know me. And I am a colorist here on YouTube. I also do book flip throughs, book reviews, color in chats, just whatever follows my fancy at the moment. Gaming. I was thinking about starting an Animal Crossing Twitch channel, but who knows? That's been in the back of my mind lately because I've been really enjoying Animal Crossing and playing the Happy Home Paradise game. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. This little bear. Look at him. But I've been really enjoying watching Twitch and Animal Crossing streams and coloring. It's been very relaxing. So, and I've needed that lately. Lord knows I've needed that because it has been crazy over here. Jasper is in school, my seven-year-old son, and my husband is currently out at Costco somewhere, I think. Who knows? So I just thought I would film for you guys today. These are so cute. And I think these are doubles, so that's nice. Yeah, these are doubles. So here's the back of the book. And here's the front. So this is Woodland Wonder by Jen Racine. And I will set that to the side here. The next book that I bought was Time to Hygie and a Coloring Happiness book by Jen Racine. So 
same sort of setup, bold line art, dark uh, print, and white, white paper. Oh, there's Harley and Daisy sleeping by the fire. I don't really care for plant pictures as much as like food pictures. I just tend to not gravitate towards them. If I want to finish a book, I will do them, but same with these candle pictures. But I really like this picture. This rabbit is super cute. Sweater pictures. Little kitty. Update on my stepdad. He is doing okay. He finished his second round of chemo. And he's got lung cancer. Um, that has spread to his neck and other areas in his brain so please keep him in your prayers please keep my husband in your prayers he is currently upset about work stuff and i can't talk about it on here but for those of you that are friends with me on facebook please private message me and i will explain it to you um but yeah we're having some scary stuff happening and it's very uncertain times it's it's times which and this starts it over again so it's times in which you just sit and pray and hope everything's going to be okay and if it's not then you just press on and yeah that's kind of where we're at right now so keep us in your thoughts and prayers the last book that i got was the unofficial bridgerton coloring book this is by Sarah Richard. I'm obsessed with Bridgerton, so of course I had to get a coloring book because I've literally been binging every book the last few days. And I just finished Eloise's story last night and it was so cute. I loved it. I did a quick flip of this book and it's kind of weird. Um... So I don't know if I'm going to color in it or just have it because there's no faces. I mean, there's no like eyes. I might draw in the eyes, but I don't like it. I don't like that they don't have eyes. That bothers me. It looks creepy. But I do love Bridgerton so much. It's nice to be able to escape into another world. And this this world has been easy for me to escape into. When things are stressful. It's an opera singer. It's a ball. This is the Featheringtons. There's the bee. The father was stung by a bee and passed away. So the the Bridgertons are afraid of bees. Ooh, that's pretty. I guess I could use like watercolors in this book or something. I do like the images. I just, I like Renaissance images in general. And this has a big renaissance feel to me even though I think this is 18th century London anyway ooh, the peacocks that's that is intimidating so yeah that is my video for today I hope you guys enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel um, leave me a comment down below Definitely check out some other coloring videos if you like that kind of stuff. There is some awesome new colorists out there on YouTube to look at. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye!